Morning YouTubers. Uh, this morning I'm uh, digging a trench for an EV uh, charging point cable. I'm not going to install the EV charging point today. I'm getting the cable in because I'm doing a project in the uh, sitting room and I can get the cable in uh, today. And um, so yeah, it's, um, I've uh, laid out some electrical tape, warning tape, just to give me a straight line. I'm cutting the turf. Uh, I'm going to dig down into the uh, garden. Um, for UK rigs, you have to uh, bury the cable at sufficient depth to protect it from any likely disturbance. So, in this case, between uh, um, sort of 450 to 600 millimeters, something like that, the sort of depth that you might plant a tree. Uh, obviously, I'm going to use warning tape over the top of it. But um, let's get digging and uh, see how we go. Okay, so what you can see behind me is this uh, finished um, trench. Um, this gets a lot deeper as it goes to the far end because there's a hole through to the driveway uh, at uh, drive level. So it's, you know, it's uh, sort of near three feet, uh, sort of near a meter deep at that end. This end where it um, comes underneath the, um, uh, the, the sort of edging of the, the paviors, it's um, uh, about uh, 450, 500, sort of half a meter deep. Um, and then as we come under the paviors, it, it does rise uh, slightly towards the house. Less of a concern under the paviors because the likely excavation is very, very shallow. You would only excavate if you were going to install um, services, as I am today. Uh, and obviously you'd be looking out for where those services are. Uh, worth pointing out, I did actually find out where all the services are before I started this project. Uh, as with all of these projects, the risk is yours, not mine. So check it out before you, you start. Where do they leave the house? Where do they terminate in the street? Buy a scanner if you want to find out where they are um, properly and, and paint them on the surface before you start digging. So the next job for me is to, um, uh, I'm actually going to put the cable into a duct and uh, I want the duct to go all the way through from inside the house into the trench and out the other end. And that way, if I need to ever change the cable, I can. Uh, I can also pull slack through from under the floor. So it's a, it's a better option for me. It is going to be armored cable, so we could just bury it, but uh, I'm going to use a duct uh, and then I'll backfill and put some warning tape on it. So let's uh, see how we go with getting that uh, duct in. Right, I've just been uh, having a look at um, the duct and where it's got to go. And this uh, duct I'm going to use is quite rigid. It doesn't really bend. Um, unless it's over a very long distance. Um, as this comes down through the garden, it has to then go through the wall and it kind of has to change um, its um, direction uh, a bit tighter than it, it will allow. Don't want to put a preformed bend on it because they're quite sharp and you know, this is supposed to be a cable duct, so I want a sweeping bend. So I'm going to try and heat this and just see if I can put a bend in it, about 200 from the end, so it, it can then go through the wall at the right um, angle. Um, up here, my blowtorch. I'm here running. And I'm just going to heat this locally. Until it starts to, I'm putting a bit of pressure on it, bending pressure on it. I'm kind of hoping it's just going to suddenly start easing of its own free will. I can get it warm enough generally. There, there we go, there's a bit of kink appearing. Right. So this bulge you can see is on the outside. So it's not really impeding on the on the internal diameter. Yeah, normally you do use a spring inside of a piece of conduit or something, but I didn't want to put much of a bend in it. You can see it's only, only a little bit.
take the heat out of it. And that's now set and hopefully that will allow me to feed this through the wall at the angle I need. But give it a go. See that down there, which is great. Let's show you the other end. Hard to see there. But at the end of my duct appearing at ground level. There. So there we go. I'll be able to push my cable down through there. And uh, hopefully. It'll come out now. I need to get the rest of the duct in. Okay, so we're inside the house. You can see the trench outside of the garden, and there's the trench uh, under the pavers. We've got the duct in uh, under the garden section. Uh, where it comes to the house, um, we then have to get through the uh, wall of the house. Now, inside the house, you can see the, the floor of the room is up. That's why we're doing this job at the moment. We've got a subfloor void, and if I jump down into it, um, you can see. The wall here is the one we're going to be going through. Um, we need to go through at an angle to line up with the uh, duct, um, and um, you know because I want the duct to come all the way into the house. You can see the the original power cable here for the house, which goes out just below the pavers outside. It's very shallow out there. Uh, I want it to be a bit deeper than that, um, but I've also got to avoid. We either go through the foundation of the house, uh, which goes beyond the wall, or avoid it and go just above. So I'm going to pop a drill through just above the foundation there. I can see the foundations here. So I'll go through maybe down at a slight angle. I've got, I've got a metre bit here, 10mm uh, SDS bit. I've got my SDS drill and I've got, some, I've got a hole saw there. So we'll crack on and see how we get on. So this just uh, you know, popped through, it felt like it popped through right at the end. So I'm going to go outside and see if we can see it. And well, good news in so much as you can see the, the drill bit there, it's, it is at the edge of the trench there. But it's come all the way through the foundations, uh, it's come through the wall, through the foundations. And um, there it is. Um, the only disadvantage with this is that it's taken an entire meter bit to get through. So if I'm going to get a duck through the other way, then I'm going to have to uh, use a, an extension or a, uh, a diamond hole saw and um, yeah, hope and pray I'll line it up from both sides. But we'll see how we go with that. Just wondering whether to redrill this more aligned, but I don't think it's, it's just going to get a longer job.
Right, well, after my SDS drill went pop, and frankly, I'm still grieving about that, but um, my uh, little normal hand drill has uh, done its magic, but rather curiously, this has popped through, and I wasn't expecting it to. Um, I was expecting this to go through the foundation, as we had with the meter bit, so the fact that it just suddenly appeared into daylight seems rather odd. So we'll go outside and have a look, see what's happened. Well, there we go. We can see it's um, popped through just above the foundation of the house, which is what I kind of thought inside. Um, that's uh, similar to the uh, incoming mains cable for the, the, the house that's further around the corner. So uh, it's fine in terms of um, current regulations for the UK in that you're varying to the uh, depth of likely disturbance, which this will be, but I'll be taking it deeper as soon as I can. In fact, I'll be chopping out some of the foundation to take the duct around there, and obviously the duct will protect it too, and it will be taped and marked. So yeah, all good, we'll crack on. Right, I've got my uh, cable, it's um, 10 millimetre um, three core armoured. Uh, I chose 10 mil because it's excessive <coughs> um, based on current assumptions, but there may come a time when we want to uh, install uh, maybe two EV charge points or uh, one that provides more current than, than most actually currently do. So I've gone over size. Now, look back at where we drilled through. Now you can see the duct, which is great. It's just appeared. I'm going to stick you there <coughs> and feed this cable through. Hopefully. It'll go down the duct and it'll come out the other end. Five meter drum. Should be stacks. I think it's probably there by right now. Let's go and have a look. Right, so with any luck. Okay. Still out the other end. Easy peasy. So that's good. So with my with my duct, I can move this back and forth. I'll be able to move this back and forth even from here. So if I want to have some slack in a big loop under the floor, I can pull that through, and then I can install my EV point wherever I want. I can just tidy up this around the hole. All oh, good. Uh, next job is to backfill the uh, trench and uh, try and get this back to how it was once before.
So there we go, the uh, trench is reinstated, the block pavia is back down, my um, cable is in the duct and uh, loose at, uh, it within it, I can pull it back and forth. Uh, all that remains is for me to pull the cable in to the um, consumer unit within the house and that's then ready to go for whenever we need a, a charging point for our electric car in the future. We don't have one yet and it could be a long time before we do but um, what I don't want to do is take the, the uh, lounge uh, floor up to get the cable in so I've avoided that. It's a bit of forethought. So thanks for watching everyone and um, you know keep, uh, keep subscribing because um, the more you subscribe the more I feel that it's really interesting to other people that I do this stuff. So uh, take care and uh, catch up next time. Cheers.